Yeah, I'm from Indiana. Check my tattoos. I'm pulling bad women. Plus I'm icy too. Terra Ho, a level above. Nobody do it like I does it. Show my city love. Hooked up with Nisi, now I'm making moves. Went from a double wide trailer to nine rooms. All my country boys, let's get blood cops coming. Throw them balls like Andrew Luck. My money long. I'm paper chasing, I'm falling out like Indiana Pacers, Evansville, Gary 2, Nap Time, let's act a fool, Fort Wayne, come on let's ride, let's show them how these goons do it in the crooked eye, I'm putting on, with every song, this white boy's repping Indiana till I'm dead and gone, I'm from Indiana. What's up, everybody? Fatboy Dan here. Man, I'm about to tell you about a new rod to hit the market. Woo -hoo! In fact, I'll tell you what, this rod is from Tangling with Catfish. That's right. Tangling with Catfish, man, a lot of you know Tangling with Catfish is used by some of the top names in the catfishing world. And one, when it comes to my mind, who shows support for Tangling with Catfish like none other, that's Steve Douglas. So I'll tell you what, man, I've known Steve through YouTube way back in the days before he even made his YouTube channel and he was watching myself on there. Uh, tell you what, man, and then I sit here and I watch, you know, other anglers in the catfishing community use these from tournament anglers like Jeremy Leach back in the day. He used to use them. I was like, man, that's the catfish, dude. That was the catfish, dude. I was like, man, I was like, that, that guy right there, man, I, I, I want that rod because I seen him use it. And then I seen the, the real catfish dude, Steve Douglas, use it. And I was like, man, he's landing these monster blues after it. Well, I'll tell you what, man, look at that. Bam! There it is in the nice packaging right there. Check it out. Monster rod holders from Tangle Catfish. But before we take a look at the beauty of this, woo, let's look at this. You get it coming in this little black, uh, I'm going to call it a condom because after all, it's protecting the value of this rod. Woo, let's, let's, just, uh, let's just do a little uh, twist. And now this is nice. It's a nice little packaging for it, you know, keeps your rod all from getting dusty, but I don't think this thing's ever going to go back on it. Bam, undo that one. Got the nice little logo on it. Of course, got the nice little logo on it. Ooh, and I can, oh, I can feel I can feel something. Ooh, 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 ooh. I, I can, something feels nice right here. Here we go, let's go. Awesome. Bam, there. Ooh, look at it sliding now. Look at it sliding now. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, look at the handle on this, baby. And it's got plastic. So my handle is, as I can see, it's like some kind of foam, but it's got plastic wrapped over. It must be for protection to get it to me. Mm. Here we go. Ooh, aluminum reel seat. Very, very nice. Very nice. And he's got the um, mechanism in the middle, uh, a little disc to stop the two uh, locking nuts from actually locking on each other and not be able to get them off. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, look at the green. Oh my God, I'm blinded by it. I'm blind, blinded by the catfish pole. Ooh, look at this. Oh, take off that protection, honey. Take that off, take that off. Yes, indeed. Oh, I'm taking it off. Oh, I'm taking it off. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my Lordy, would you looky here. What? Look at that. Look at that. Go bow, baby. Rub on that rod. Ooh, look at the logo, green and it's red. Some people might say that's an ugly looking rod, but you know what? I, in fact, catfish are ugly themselves, but I love catfish. And I'll tell you what, I like this rod, and I actually think I'll grow to love this rod. Let me tell you a little bit about what we got going on right here. This is a seven foot, six inch, medium heavy action rod from Tangled with Catfish that Steve Douglas has his own coming out. These are just the same exact rods of their other ones, but with the a paint job to suit himself and anglers like myself that can stand out. Now let's see. Uh, back here we got an oversized butt right there. So that way if you want to tuck it up underneath your fat belly like I got this. I can lift my fat belly up, tuck it underneath there, boom, grip it on. And then that little lip right there will let my belly handle it and so the catfish can't yank it out from me. But I'll tell you what, we have incredible uh, this grip. Let me, let me just, let me, oh, let me peel. Oh, 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 let me just peel this thing off. I feel like a little kid in the candy store, boy. I'll tell you what. Oh, I don't want to use a knife on it, though. Oh, I can't better do that. I might break one of my teeth on this. But I want to feel it. Come on now. I don't want to scrape you. Okay. We're going to break it out. Here we go. Oh, I don't even want to get, I don't even want to get my knife close to it. Ooh, ooh. No, 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 no. Don't scrape it. Don't you. I'll 
sorry. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, here we go. Now we're gonna fill with this grip filter. Let's fill. We all see the grip. Oh, let's fill. Here we go. Here we go. Let me fill back. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Ready for this? No, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Let me get this one off too. Let me get this off so we can just see exactly what kind of grip this is really, really gonna be. Okay, because you know when we see the grip and we see other people using it, and we see Steve Douglas give his little bit of uh, what he liked on it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, when Steve said like a, a Kung Fu grip, I can, oh my God, I feel like I could be like, everybody was Kung Fu fish chain. Yeah, them cats were fast as lightning. Oh man, I'll tell you what. The grip on this is incredible. It has a good cushion grip. And in fact, with the mechanism that looks like some super swampers off of a truck tire, I believe that when my hands are muddy, slippery from uh, cutting up bait or handling them fish and the slime gets on me, and I don't have the time to wipe my hands back off because I just want to get the rod and reel with my bait back out there. So this is going to be able to handle. Right, yeah. yeah, it's going to be a great, right there's going to be great for me to uh, be able to handle it. I feel like I got some uh, thing. Yep, let's just check it out. Let's see where the power of that is. About, about power right there. About where the oversized hook keeper is, which is great when you fish some big hooks. Now, this is a 7 foot 6 uh, inch medium heavy action rod. Uh, Steve Douglas has put this tremendous use with big blues. You know that. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 guide tips. Or I should say guides all the way up it with an incredible bright green tip which is going to be very very good when you're out there you know like white tips you can see them easily when you're out fishing at night or even during the daytime you can see and detect that bite now this with the green tip you're going to be able to detect that from uh, other areas hey what's up mosquito or whatever you're flying you'll be able to detect that the red and the green then he's got the red coming down with the green in between that search now stainless steel guides if you'll notice them very well made uh they don't have the inserts on them many of the cheaper rods on the market will have inserts in the inside the inserts with braided line or just fishing over generally when you smack them and you drop them many times will actually have uh the inserts pop out of them you won't have it on these double footed right here you'll see where you know this way and this way so if you you smack it you break it or you don't want to you don't want to break it but you'll want to um basically uh, the feet will cover it, so if you push this way or that way, it's just not going to bend one way and break the other way. Uh, beautiful paint job. Aluminum reel seat right there. Uh, big oversized on it right there to pitch your reels into it. Two uh, mechanisms. Look at that. Boat so you can twist them down, lock them in. Beautiful medium heavy action with the rod tip going. Let's see with the backbone. Let's see with the... Oh, oh yeah. It's got a good one. One, two, three. In between the three and the fours when you start to get the flex. Mainly on a four, which is going to be great for them circle hooks when you have the tip. Now, what am I going to put this on? I'm going to, you know, I am the broke fisherman, so, you know, I did go after the Catfish Conference when I got this. I did go over to the Clarksville Bash Pro Shop. So I'm walking in, I'm looking for the, you know, I'm going to put a reel like Steve Doug's used, Cat Max Reels. And I was like, where are them at? The guy's like, we got them over here, but we're all sold out. And this is that Sunday, I'm going home. He's like, yeah, Steve Doug's had a event or something over there, talked about them, and next thing you know, we had 20 in, in here, and they're all gone. Even the display model. So that tells me one day Steve Douglas can sell 20, 20 of them reels. I wasn't able to get one. Don't have the money now to get one. So what I'm going to do, take one of my old fishing reels right here. Take one of these old fishing reels. Bam, right there. If you notice what's going on with this one? Yes, it's broke. This is why, and this has uh, inserts, but this is my Abu Garcia. Uh, this is the 5000. Not, you know, the best model, in, but it is Sweden made. Not the ideal rod you'd want to put on it, but for some it is. Now this right here, you're probably wondering why why this reel is broken? Well, I'll tell you what, it's a whole nother video. That's why it's important to have them aluminum parts right there. See how the plastic is? See how it's duct tape? Yes, this is real. This is real. It really did break. It, I mean, I'm not playing. This really did break. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take this reel off. And, wow, right there. Look at that. There's real truth of it right there, buddy. But. Basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this off. My Sweden edition. Yes, it is Sweden right there. Bam. Now I'm going to put this up onto my monster rod. Woo! Here we go. Let's see what we got going on right here. Line her up. 
going in perfect right there. Twist around until she's coming on. Bam, right there, locks in. Spin these babies down. Look at that, nice free flowing. I can hurry it and lock it down when I want. Now what I said about the importance of the ring. Right here's the middle ring. Middle ring is going to give you a cushion when you're locking it down. Woo, this baby's going to be nice. Look at this. Very, very nice. Look at this. Mm. Locks down. That way both your nuts don't get caught together. Yeah, I said both your nuts don't get caught together. You get both your nuts caught together, you might not get them out. Look at that. Now, I feel like perfect. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. That baby's beautiful. Boy, I tell you what, man. I tell you what, man. Right here it is, man. Fabwood Dance, great outdoors right here. Um, Awesome. I'll tell you what. Y'all check him out. Monster Rod Hose from Steve Douglas. Y'all know him. He's put him to use. <laughs> And here's my setup right there. Going with the gold. You know me, I'm going to have the gold on all my reels. Till another episode, Fat Boy Dance, Great Outdoors. Y'all let the fish, fish to live. And we'll do another review when we actually put this baby into action. I'm out of here, y'all.